Okay, so the question that we're going to be doing is combination sum 2. And this is actually a variation of the combination sum 1. And let's see what the question says first. So we are given an array. And what we have to do is we are actually given a target. Let's say 8. And this is actually pretty similar to the previous one that we have done. And the thing is that it was pretty similar. What we have to do in the previous combination sum question. And the exactly same thing we need to do here is we need to find all the subsets which is actually going to be able to have a sum of 8. And here if we see here. This is 116, 125, 1726. So these are the subsets which are actually able to create a sum of 8. But one thing to observe here is uh, let me just quickly remove this. Okay, now this is exactly the same as this case. So what we have is 1, 2, 5, which is going to be able to make the target sum 8 but as you can observe here we have two ones so there could be another subset of 1 to 5 one which is created with this and one which is created with this so what we can say here is we have a duplicate subset which is able to give us a target sum as 8 so what we require is we need to remove the duplicate subset which is created so we have to calculate all the subsets which are actually total sum of it should be able to be as the target sum but we have to exclude the duplicates which can occur so now this has become a variation of the previous question combination sum exclude the duplicates and that is going to be our answer so in the previous combination sum we are able to calculate all the possible subsets which are actually equal to target but in this one we have to exclude the duplicate subsets so that is our question and one more thing is in the previous combination sum question what we were doing is we can actually use this variable sorry variable uh, this element again and again so let's say I can use one one time another time another time another time and time and so on in the previous one we can actually use this again and again but in this one we can actually only use this element only one time and by element I mean at this specific index we can only use this element one time but uh, if it can occur again we can use it one more time to create the target sum but uh, what we have to do is we have to exclude the duplicate subset so you can use this element of the same value again but this should not create a new actually a duplicate subset so one to five should not occur again but one one and uh, uh, let's see here 1 1 and 6 you can create this subset so that is our question and let's see how we can actually solve this okay 3 4 5 and 6 so these are the indexes this is our array and this is our target okay so some things we are actually going to be doing is pretty similar to the previous combination sum so we have a function and we are going to call it recursively so now and we have a initial index starting with 0 and we are going to have a data structure 
which is going to contain our subset and now we are going to call this function so at this point we have two choices either we can include the zeroth index element or either we can leave it so this time what we are going to do is we are going to include this element in our subset so we have moved to this direction of our recursion and now we are going to include this element in our subset so we have included this element in our subset and because we cannot use this index element again so we are going to move to our next index so what i have done here is previously what we were doing is we were starting our iteration of all the possible combination with our zero index as the starting but we have chosen this element to be included in, in our subset so we are going to move in this direction of our recursion and now our index element that is starting is become one so we have move at this point so we are going to use the combinations of these elements now so our index has become as starting with one and as you can see here because we have included this one of zeroth index in our target so our target has actually reduced to seven so we have now we we have to choose elements which can actually create our target ultimately as zero so we have included one so we have reduced this target to seven and now again we have ch two choices either we can choose one of this or we can exclude it so this time what we are going to do is we are going to include this in our sum so because we are going to include this we are going to move on to the next index so in our recursion now we have moved to the next part of a element and now at this point our target has become as six because we have already included two ones in our subset so eight minus two now it has become as six so like this we are going to move down further in the recursion but let's observe something here so at this point when we only have this one so we had two choices either we could include this or exclude this so we have already included this part but what if we don't include this element so at this point of recursion what we're going to do is we are going to move on to our next index and this time we have excluded this part of one see the thing is we have a one part of the recursion where we have already included this element but at this part of the recursion now what we are going to do is we are going to exclude this and instead of that we're going to move on to the next index which is two here uh, so as you can see we have moved on to the next index and without including this element we have moved on to this index and our target is still remaining as seven so at this point what we have is we have a choice now from here we can actually have a choice that either we could include the second index element which is two here or we could exclude this so again we are going to let's uh, proceed here so at this point of the two we have again a choice sorry so we have a choice that we could include this element so if we include this element then one two and seven minus three we have four target that is remaining so in this manner we are going to proceed down and let's move at this part of the recursion and let's see what is going to happen here so we were at this part let's uh, observe what is happening at this part of the recursion we are going to fill this what uh, what is going to happen at the end but let's see here okay so i was at the zeroth index 
but what i have done is i have already tried including the zeroth index element but now i'm going to move on to the possibility of not using the zeroth index element and instead of that i'm going to move on to the next index and at the next index one should i include this element in my subset or not so the thing to observe here is that if i actually included this element in my subset then what is going to happen is this subset is actually going to have a duplicate already that i have already calculated so in this part as you can see i already have a subset with one i uh, at this part here and if i included this so if i included this oneth index element and moved on to the next one so as you can see here this has already happened here and this has already happened here with the subset and the target that has remained the same so i have to actually exclude this element because it is actually going to create a duplicate subset so to do that what i should do is because i am starting my iteration with the zeroth index so i have moved on to the next one so what i will do i will actually look back to the previous element if this is actually a duplicate or not so at a zero the next what i will do i will have a condition if my index so this has already been used in the combination sum so if my index is actually not equals to i so what this is saying is if my iteration of these elements has started with let's say in this case is 0 so my idx is 0 and i have moved on to the next one i which is 1 so this condition is satisfying and if my a of i is actually equal equals to a of i minus 1 so if my element is actually equals to the previous element then what i will do i will exclude this element to create any further recursion so this index is going to get skipped so that is one what is going to happen ultimately so if i skip this index then i will move further at this part so again i'm going to check this condition idx which is zero it is not equals to my i but in this case my two is actually not equals to one so i will have my second index as my choice so now we are going to use this so if i include the second index element in my subset i um, moved on to this so my eight seven six so my target is actually now going to get reduced to six so that is going to happen here and let's exclude this and make it a bit clean so this is what is going to happen here and let's say all of this recursion has happened and i moved on to my next index to create that subset possibility so i moved on to my third index and i'm going to check the same condition before sorry before moving on to this recursion so i'm at the third index so i'm going to compare idx which is zero it is not equals to my i for this and my five is not equals to two then what i will do i will have this third index and the entry subtil set and a target so again i'm going to have a choice to include this or exclude this element so if i include the third index element which is five my target is going to get reduced and it is going to be as three so this is how it is going to happen and let's complete these recursions this part of the recursion okay so i'm at the second index i have a choice to include this and but 
every time before including this element there is one more thing that i need to check and that is if my target is actually greater than or equals to my a of y or only then what i'm going to do i'm going to include this because there could be a case that let's say my target has become one but my a of i which is the element is actually greater so that it doesn't make sense to actually include this so because we actually need to create our target as ultimately as zero okay so i'm at the second index what i will do i will include this element in my subset and move on to this and now my bucket is going to contain one one and two so this time six five four it is going to become as four so i'm at the third index and now third index again i have a choice so this time as you can see my target is actually lesser than my a of i so i'm not going to move further in my recursion in this part for including the third index element and i will just simply exclude this element and move on to my another index which is four and with the same things and here so at the fourth index again it is going to be larger so i will again move to fifth index with the same elements and again move on to the next because it is still greater sixth index and finally at the sixth index i'm going to still have it is greater the target is smaller move on to the next and i'm out of bounds and at the time of out of bounds the thing is that i'm still going to have one one and two and my target as four so i'm out of bounds so at the out of bounds i'm going to check if my target has actually become zero or not so in this case it is not so i will move back to my recursion at this point because i have already completed this part of it for excluding the elements and now i'm going to move back to recursion and now i'm going to be at this point so at this point i already tried including the second index element so this time i'm going to exclude the second index element so because i'm excluding this element second index and let's put this uh, this part of the recursion hasn't happened yet so keep that in mind so at the second index element i am excluding it this time so move back at the third index with one one and six at the third index again i have a choice of including the f this so if i include this element so one one five the remaining target is one because i have included the five five minus six is one and at this point at the fourth index this is still larger so again move at five with all the elements and the target move at six because it is still greater so i'm not going to include the element move this target here and finally i am out of bounds with the same five one one and one as target and again because i am out of bounds i'm going to check if my target has become a zero so in this case it is not so i will move back to recursion at this point and this time i'm going to do is i'm going to exclude the third index element so if i exclude the third index element i will move on to the fourth index with this same target as one and this element is one so at the fourth index this time as you can see if i include this element i will move to the fifth index with one one and six and my target has become as zero so because this has become as zero now um at the fifth index so i can't include the uh, this element because this is greater than my target so i will exclude the fifth index element move to the sixth index with one one and six still in the bucket and finally i'm going to move on at the seventh index because the sixth index element which is 10 is still greater and at this point with one one six in my 
data structure bucket i'm out of bounds and my target has become as zero so this time what i'm going to do i'm going to include the 611 in my answer so this is going to be one of the possible subset and i'm going to include this in let's say my answer data structure so i'm finally at this point so i will move back further in the recursion so move back move back move back in the recursion so i have already tried including the fourth index element now i will exclude the fourth index element and move on to my fifth index with one and one and six my target so again this seven and ten is going to be the greater and finally i'm going to be out of bounds and i will move back further in my recursion and now this part of the recursion has happened and this part of the recursion has happened so we are finally going to enter at this part of the recursion so at this part of the recursion now this part of the recursion we're going to start okay my second index we are going to try to include this so one two with four remaining target so at the third index we can't include this five so we will try to exclude it this four one two four so at the fourth index it is six still greater can't include it move to fifth index with the same elements still 7 is greater move to the 6 index 10 is still greater move on to the next index we are out of bounds check the target has become 0 or not but it is still 4 till here so can't include it move back in the recursion and move back in the recursion move back in the recursion so this time try to exclude the second index element so if I exclude the second index element move to the third index with one in the bucket and seven and at the third index if we try to include this so move to the fourth index with one and five and the remaining is going to be two so at the fourth index the, it is still going to be greater exclude the fourth index element move to the fifth index element still greater move to sixth index element still greater move to seven out of bounds my target is still going to be as two which is not equals to zero so move back further in the recursion and this time exclude the third index element move to fourth index with one in the bucket and seven at the fourth index now this time it is six so we can include this because my target is seven move to fifth index with one and six this is going to be one okay so at the fifth index it is greater can't include it move to six index with the same element and target and can't include it because it is greater 10 move to seventh index out of bounds my target is still as one so can't include it move back in the recursion and at this point we have tried the possibility of including the fourth index now we will move on to the fifth index with one and seven at the fifth index now seven is we can actually include it so if we include this move to six index with one and seven which is my target has become as zero can't include the six index element so we will exclude it move to seventh index we are out of bounds but this time we have one and seven in the bucket and my target is zero so we can include this as my answer so my seven and one is going to create a subset so in this manner we can do this and calculate all the possibilities and always we need to keep in mind is that we need to compare the previous index element and how we are going to do that is we have already seen so now let's look at the code here so in the code 
here we can see that if my target has become as zero so we will push this in my answer but this is how we are doing the things so if i zoom this so as you can see this is actually pretty similar to the previous combination sum but this is the main logic that is going to help us in excluding the duplicate subset so we will compare is let's say we started with the zeroth index and this was the case when we actually excluded it so let's say we have the zero index starting as zero and we have moved further down the recursion and finally my i which is here has become as one so my i we are going to compare it is not equals to index because it is at this point at the one th index so what we will do is we will compare with index and that is going to help us in eliminating the duplicate and finally we are going to compare if this is actually equals to the previous index element then we will exclude it and move on to the further so that is how we are going to do things and that is it that's about it for this part and finally we are only going to include the element which is actually going to be less than or equals to my target so that my target can actually become as zero so this is the one where we are actually including the element in my subset and we are calling to the next index and while doing that we are going to reduce the target by whatever element we have included in my subset and after calculating the possibility using the recursion we are going to exclude this element and we are going to try to include some other element so we have already tried the uh, possibility of including this element now we will exclude this element and further calculate that possibility and that is how we are doing things and while doing that we are also doing the iteration and if my target is actually going to become a zero so we will push this in my answer and finally return and the thing is that what is helping us in actually eliminating the duplicate possibility is sorting so as you can see here this element this array is actually not sorted so that is one thing that we need to do before doing that so because there could be a case that my one could be right here at this so now you can't identify that if there is a one that is actually already existing so that is one case that you need to keep in mind because let's say you didn't did the sorting so to exclude the element you can't do none so let's say one and seven is going to make a possibility of eight but there is another one in my array which is going to make the same possibility so you need to exclude that so that is why you need to do sorting and this condition is going to help us in excluding that so if you did the sorting then you're going to have one here and two here and now when you are at this point in time so you can actually compare with the previous index if this is the same element or not so that is going to help us and that's about it basically for this so you have done the sorting and you're going to call this function with zero as a starting send the target send the temporary array to actually create a subset and finally the answer is going to help us to actually include the subset in your possibility and if we look at the time complexity here so this is going to be a bit tricky here because the time complexity is actually going to depend on your target so that is why our time complexity in this case is actually going to be equal to 2 to the power target because like there could be a case that only including two element you have actually calculated the target so that is going to depend on that 
and uh, one thing here is we have also included the sorting so the time complexity is actually going to be n log n plus 2 to the power target and the space complexity is going to depend on your again target so that is the case for the space complexity and the time complexity so if we look at here my time complexity is going to be this and space complexity depending on the target and basically that's about it for this question